All right, so tonight we are making some um, pork with sage and some breadcrumbs on it and some couscous. And the mustard, yeah. And um, couscous with some cranberries and I was doing pine nuts, but somehow I can't seem to find any now in my house. So maybe we'll do almonds or something. It's nice to have couscous as just a good base for all different oh, yeah. stuff and it's always in my cabinet. And uh, the cranberries are sweet. Maybe we'll add a little feta to it. And then feta. of course some herbs. And then something crunchy is nice. But if you don't have it, I don't have it tonight. Or I may not have it. We'll see if I have some other stuff. Um, you know, you just improvise. And so usually I'd have another vegetable with this, but we are, it's late. I'm just gonna make the couscous and pork and just be done with it for tonight. So Ash, can you give me some um, mustard please? Oh, yeah. So I have already, so I'm going to get some mustard. So this is a breaded pork that I, um, my sister-in-law actually introduced me to. She made it once for dinner. Oh, I hope we have enough. See if we have any other mustard. Uh, Obviously I need to go shopping. Okay. So my sister-in-law made this. It was really great. Uh, we make it a little different. She, uh, I think she put it on bake and I am going to pan fry it. Yeah. Let's try that. Um, and also, you know, the traditional breading, which I do do for chicken and sometimes pork and other things, is you put in flour, then you put it in an egg wash, which is egg and a little water. I so I can, no. Oh. So flour and then egg and then the breadcrumb. So, um, but this time, um, but for this one, I usually, I have four um, thinly sliced pork uh, chops. I don't even know what they are, to be honest. Um, they do have bones in them. And that gives them nice flavor. Cutlets. No, because they they have bones, so I'm not really sure. Maybe cutlets. I don't even know. They're these. They just look like this. They're just some pork. Some there's some bones. Like it's not really a pork chop. You're right, but so it's something like that. So they're but they're pretty thinly cut, so you, they cook up quickly. And instead of doing the whole rigmarole of the bread, uh, the flour and eggs, and then the breadcrumbs, all I'm going to do is put. Um, some mustard on them. The recipe I think had called for you put the mustard into the eggs so then that's where it gets the mustard flavor but I'm supposed to use Dijon mustard of course I have um, Dijon I don't know if I'll have enough and then no I don't need that and then um, okay then. and then you put it into the breadcrumbs and then just fry it up and then with my couscous of course it's just a cup of chicken water, broth. but I put chicken broth. You can put any liquid if you um, want. Um, the chicken broth gives it some nice flavor. So I have a cup of chicken broth, and then I'm going to use the couscous. And then at the end, I'll just add in my cranberries and my Hi. parsley. Hi. And um, that's it. Thanks. All right, and of course, you need your glass of wine here. Let me grab my salt and my pepper. It's kosher salt and some freshly gone pepper. First, I'm just gonna season each side of the pork or the side of the pork first. Then I'm gonna put some black pepper on it just to flavor this up. You know what? I am going to turn on my couscous just so it's ready. Couscous takes okay. five minutes to cook, but you need to heat up the, um, the water first. And I'm gonna turn on my oil here. I used canola oil, excuse me, um, because you can't use olive oil for something when you're doing something on sort of high heat. And also, we don't need any flavor. Canola oil is totally adequate. It has very little flavor. I think that's enough. It's just about a quarter inch, just so it gets one side of the, um, one side of the pork. So we'll just do this each by itself. I'm gonna grab a spoon. You can use whatever utensil. You can do it with your hands if you want. I'm gonna use a spoon. Um, again, I have my Dijon mustard and then I'm just going to squirt some on each one. Can you check if I have any more Dijon in there what? in the fridge. fridge or in the, maybe in the, uh, pantry? I feel like I got some, but maybe not. All right. Yeah, All right. So of course I have no more left. All right, I'll keep it upside down. Maybe a little bit more will come out. And then all I do is just spread it around, put it on all over the pork, all over the pork here. 
and all over the pork here. Just all over the pork on this side. Honey bun, please stop. Okay, sorry. Just stop. Okay, and then, and then I'm gonna put my spoon down. No. What is this? Dijon mustard. Okay, so this is um, whole grain Dijon, that's good. All right, so I'll put some on this one. We have a fridge outside that I forget what's out there usually. Here, you know what? Usually there's no dead time, but. <laughs> okay, this doesn't look like it's good. All right. Anyway, so I have my um, pork. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna turn it over. And actually I'm gonna put one, two of them right out on here. And there's like a big thing of that here. I'm gonna cut this off. Sometimes I like to trim the meat. Usually it's fine. Oh, I forgot about the, oh, okay, anyway. So another thing that we need is, or we don't need, so I'm gonna put some sage. It's from my garden outside. I'm gonna put some sage on this also on this pork. So I forgot to cut that up. Here, let me grab What this. herbs are from your garden? <laughs> uh, the cilantro that we used the other day. I had to buy that, I didn't um. have any more. But yeah, mostly the herbs. I try to get my garden nice and full of them. All right, so. I'm gonna put it on the side of these ones, but of course, on that one, I forgot the sage. So here, I'll Christmas. put it on the other side. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, so then we just, I'm gonna salt and pepper this side of my pork, and then I'm gonna to try to get some more mustard. I guess I'm just gonna use the spicy brown mustard here, just a little bit. Again, use Dijon, it really has a nice flavor. The wine in it is great, and then, I'm gonna mix around this mustard on this side, put a little bit of the sage on this side and flip it over. Just do the flip, the flip. Okay, and then, oh, and these breadcrumbs are not the, I guess the regular breadcrumbs that you use. Um, these are called panko breadcrumbs and they're Japanese style. They're a little lighter, a little flat.